for me, waking up is a mindset. It's the welcoming smell and picturesque view from the communal bathroom. It's the warmth of flickering lights and peace and quiet before daybreak. And of course, it's the three-in-one toothpaste face wash deodorant routine that drives me. So as a filmmaker, lawyer, musician, you know, not that that's important, but making 700k a year, if we all for a second pretend I pay for my taxes, I know my impact on the people, you know. That's why I wake up at 4 a.m. Nothing special about this, but love to start my day off of a workout. And sleeping on the floor means I get to immediately do so. And a lot of people ask me, why do you do that if you live in a $9 million mansion? Uh, anyways, here's me finally giving up on my 165th push-up because I got bored of it, you know? Because I got better things to do, like contribute to the economy through money laundering. I'm disciplined, which is why I indulge myself every day. With a nutritious breakfast made by my personally hired chef, the two stars are Michelin stars. And let me just clarify, there is no link to the fact that 25 years ago, I was a guy in the white suit as a mascot of Michelin. I just want to clear that up first, because, you know, people like to accuse me of nepotism and all that. I've been asked by many people about the solitude that comes with a life like mine, and well, obviously I also get questions like, uh, how do you score so many girls, you know? Like, people are just too shy to ask those questions instead, but who cares about meaningful human connection, you know? Because while you are making meaningful relationships to last a lifetime, I'm thinking about which lawyers or accountants look out for to help me evade the feds in the next 10 years. Oh, laundry? Yeah, apparently that's a thing. Now, I'm a man of efficiency, which is why I've been revolutionizing this process. I'm also trying to patent it. You know, my, my great-grandma actually had a saying back in uh, 1782. She was actually also the woman who uh, invented table tennis. Anyways, like me, Ma, always love to say, no one can tell if you don't wash your socks. Just pull down your pants and take out your belongings in your pockets you don't want soaked in the washing machine. I always thought it should have rhymed, but I, I really can't think of anything to fit in. You know, it's a big hole to fill. Cars? You mean the movie? Oh, yeah, like actual cars I own. Um, I, I theoretically could afford 19 and a half Lambos and more, you know, just trying to be conservative here. But I've decided to be environmentally conscious to the point that I don't even have a driver's license anymore to save paper. And to conclude, um, I do have a special hidden talent that I feel like is underrepresented, it's overlooked, it's a facet of myself that I think is a pretty integral part of my personality, which is I can do the Cantonese Mickey Mouse intro. I'm for hire, by the way. Um, not for not for money, although I, I would love that. This was my 4am routine. Um, also, here's my number if any women want to-